Take a look at Jalen Travis. You can see why all the colleges do. A six foot eight inch tackle. He is growing into his frame and has grown into loving football. Well, football really became my first sport, I'd say, transitioning from my sophomore to junior year. Um, I know I was given my first varsity start as a sophomore um, and really high expectations going into that season from the coaching staff. A little background. His older brother, Reed, was a great quarterback. He gave up football his senior season so he could concentrate on basketball, and he was very good. So good he signed and played at a high level for Stanford, went on as a grad transfer last year, and finished out his career at the University of Kentucky. His oldest brother, Jonah, played at Harvard, serving as role models. And Jalen is himself a hooper, part of a state championship team. So many thought that would be his sport. I want to play football, um, especially after that sophomore, junior year season. I was like, yeah, this is going to end up being for me. This is the way I want to go. Um, they didn't take it too well at first. I was like, oh, are you sure this is what you want to do? Um, I was like, yeah, I mean, I love the game. But he's still a Travis. And at De La Salle High School, that means something, to be an athlete and much more. When you, when you get an opportunity to coach one of the Travis kids, uh, it's always a blessing because they're hardworking, uh, they're great leaders, uh, they step up, they do everything that you need to do, they're really locked in. Like his brothers, he has been heavily recruited, and he has had the benefit of watching and listening to what they went through and deciding on a college, and they've told him. Like, I've seen what both my brothers have done, um, both at a very high level. Um, when I've seen them, like, talking to them, basically they told me, like, do what you love most, because um, at the end of the day, like, what you can work at hard most, um, stuff like that. So basically just like, do, do what your heart tells you to do. Whoever lands him will get a big kid with potential and a big heart, and that matters. Jalen is, uh, he's, he's, he's a tough cookie. So he, he leads, it, it, his pads do a lot of talking, but he also is a very vocal leader. And so uh, what, what I always get out of him is uh, what I expect is hard work every snap. Uh, he's gonna play all the way to the whistle. Sit with him and you realize he's thought it all through and he knows where he wants to go because he knows what his sport has done for him. He teaches me like how to get punched in the mouth and get up, um, especially with that more physical aspect of it because on the line basically we're battling every play with the guy in front of us. Um, like someday, some, or some plays we're going to get beat, so like just making sure to respond to that.